we're delighted to be hosting the City Mental Health Alliance event. I think it's really exciting that we've got higher education institutions and student recruitment teams getting together to discuss such an important topic. It's been a long time coming for both employers and educational institutions to really, really take this seriously. The quality of future employers' wellbeing programme is going to be a key determinant of which companies' graduates decide to join. I didn't get the A-levels that I thought that I would, so in my mind, the hopes of a good job melted away right along with all of my self-confidence, my self-esteem and my self-worth. And so as I entered university, I spiralled into a really, really deep depression and anxiety that I had never experienced anything like that before. And the shame that came with it was very dark. I didn't want to tell anybody. You can imagine my profound relief when I arrived at the Bank of England and realised that for the first time in my life, I was surrounded by people who cared about mental health. I felt so empowered that I then turned around and opened up for the first time to my friends, to my family and subsequently to my colleagues. We need to make universities a healthier place generally to be and we need better training so that we can notice when people are struggling. We're asking for universities to develop a whole organisational strategy looking at the prevention, early intervention and support. Perfectionism is not a good motivator. It's a key driver behind anxiety, depression, eating disorders. You have this added pressure of, I can't trip up, I have to be perfect, otherwise, you know, I don't have any prospects for the future. We need to be even more transparent and open about how accommodating and inclusive we are as an employer. Some of these processes, we're going to have to go back to the drawing board, I think, because it's so entrenched that you know, you know you're one of a thousand candidates. Even now, I don't know if I would disclose my experience with my anxiety because I think, compared to other graduates, does that put me lower down the list? We have to do a better job as industries to show people that actually you can be highly successful with mental health and physical health conditions in our workplaces, and it's okay if you have dips in your health throughout that time as well. Our vision at the City Mental Health Alliance is that all of our members will become health creating environments and what that means for the younger generation is that we're going to be creating standards that will be aspirational across the industry for recruitment practices um, for mental health. You know, the young early careers people are our future leaders and if we can get mental health literacy embedded within everything that they do, then hopefully people like myself won't have jobs in another 10 years time because we won't be talking about this in the, in the same way.